decade or so ago working with corporate servers where you know someone would have the file open and someone would be trying to access the file and they'd have to like yell across the office hey get out of the file i need to access the file and if two people worked on it at the same time someone might save over somebody else's work somebody make an update to the file and then they have to save it but they can't there is a solution for this and that solution was released over a decade ago now Regarding Google Drive on a local server, please, is there a problem if many of people are working on the same file? Thanks. Great, 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 great question. So what this person is basically describing is I'm assuming in their office in some way they have a server sitting here, right? And we'll just call that server. And I assume then that they have a bunch of computers that are connecting to that. And then up here in the cloud, we have Google Drive. Now, if you like, you can basically set up a link like this where your server is going to be synchronizing your files up to Google Drive. Now, the question that I have, what kind of server is that? Because there's different kinds of servers. You might actually have like an actual, a Windows or a Mac computer. That might be your server. It might be what's called a NAS drive, like a network attached storage drive, which will have their own synchronization agent. Or you may have some kind of enterprise server. It might still be Windows, actually. It might be like Windows Server Edition of some sort, which is also going to operate differently. Now, if you're using a Windows or a Mac computer. That should be pretty fine because you can just use the consumer version of Google Drive and the consumer version of Google Drive is just going to synchronize to the cloud without any real trouble. If you're using a NAS drive, that should be fine because most NAS drives that have a synchronization agent between Google Drive and the cloud are going to be fine. They're not going to really worry about what file that you're working on. If you have an enterprise server though, I've got a bit of a question mark there. I haven't done this in a long time and I'm not sure if Google Drive will still install on a server because I remember in the past there were problems installing Google Drive onto a server because the consumer version or the desktop version of Google Drive was not suitable to be installed on a server operating system. So you couldn't do that natively with Google. And what you had to do in those instances is actually synchronize it using a third-party synchronization software. Now, I will admit it's been about a year since I've, pers or probably two years since I've personally gone anywhere near that myself. Our technical team will certainly be able to answer what is the current best practice solution for you because our business IT genius, but also on site helper, which helps larger businesses with server infrastructure and more traditional IT uh, get all of this done. They'll be very happy to help you find the correct solution if that's what you're looking for. But this gives you a little bit of a rundown of the different ways that you can connect between a server and online with Google Drive. But we haven't completely answered the question yet. The question is, if multiple people are working on the same file, what is going to happen? Well, that's a very interesting question because if multiple people are working on the same file, well, it actually needs to be a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or a PowerPoint presentation, or it needs to be a PDF, which I don't think people can collaborate on at the same time. So they're all the kind of file types that might live on a server. And it brings me back to a decade or so ago working with corporate servers where, you know, someone would have the file open and someone would be trying to access the file and they'd have to like yell across the office, hey, get out of the file. I need to access the file. And if two people worked on it at the same time, someone might save over somebody else's work, somebody make an update to the file and then they have to save it, but they can't. There is a solution for this. And that solution was released over a decade ago now. Do you know what the solution is? The solution is to use Google Docs. And so let's look at what it looks like when we're using Google Docs. Okay, so we have a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, which is an S, or a Google Slide, which is actually also an S, but that's okay. Now, if you're using one of those file formats, they don't actually live on your server. They only ever live online, even if you can see them locally on your computer. And let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to open up my Google Drive and you can see I've got all these documents here, right? Now, it looks like they live on my local computer, but they actually only ever live online or they're only ever accessed via Google Chrome. And so when I open up, you can see here, it's automatically going to open in Google Chrome and it's opened up to the URL of Google Chrome. Now, even if I was offline, if I was offline, then this file would open on my local computer, yes, but as soon as I connect it to the internet again, it's actually gonna synchronize straight back up to the internet. So the point that I'm making here is 
These files here don't actually ever really live on your server. The only thing that lives on your server, if you have what appears to be a Google Drive file or a Google Google Sheet or a Google Slide presentation, they are only ever a link or a shortcut to the cloud. And when you open them online, it actually just opens straight up in your Chrome browser. And so each one of those files, even though it looks like it might be sitting down on your PC accessible via the server drive, and it may look like it's being synchronized into the server, it actually only ever lives online. That's how Google document formats work. And that's the best way to collaborate with multiple people. But if you're trying to work on a local file on a local server, multiple people, short story is it's going to be a mess. My strong, strong, strong recommendation is that you just go Google and use Google document for every single file that you can. All of your old templates, all of the old ways of doing things inside your business, you ditch them and go all in on Google because trust me, it's just going to be easier. And then you open up all of the integrations with the rest of the Google ecosystem and your life and your business life especially are going to run a whole lot better. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.